Welcome back to the channel. Now a subscriber of mine reached out and asked if I could help and show them how to create a footer that is full width with a transparent background just like for this website and when I checked out the website this is how it looks like it has a transparent header, transparent footer and when you click over here or when you go on any other page it has a different header and it also has a different footer. Okay so how do you do exactly that? Now when we head over here I've already created such I've already created a similar header or a similar site having a transparent header and a transparent footer and when you click over here and go to any other page it also shows up a different header and a different footer and this same footer and header look very familiar like any of this with a top border and also here it has a top border which is grayish and also a transparent footer with a top border. So now let me show you how I did that. So back over here into my Elementor website, I created a transparent header and I created a transparent footer. And when you click over here, you realize that I have the footer here, which is over here, like normal footer, having a top border and also the other website content, including the footer menu. The same I did for the header. When I open up over here my transparent header, I gave it site name, including an icon over here, which is a shop icon, and also the navigation widget, including a bottom border. Okay, then what I had to do was to come over here to the display conditions. And on display conditions, I made sure that this header is displayed on the entire site, but it had to exclude the home page. Now the home page is my actual home page, which is this over here. The same thing I did for the footer over here. I came and added a display condition and excluded the entire site and at the same time excluded the home page. Now these two rules means that this header and this footer will display on the entire site, but it will not show up on the page that you selected as your home page or the page that you select over here in the exclusion. Now, once that is done, I came back to my home page and I simply just copied whatever I created over here. For example, the header came to my home page and then I pasted the header over here. And the same thing I did for the footer, I pasted it over here on my home page and I made sure that my home page section, just like over here for the home page, I made sure that it is having a layout that is called fit to screen so that whenever someone is browsing this it fits to the screen just like they did it over here it's fitting on the screen so that's how my home page looks like then the other thing I had to do was to make sure that our header which is this over here doesn't have a background color so when you look over here there's no background color and that makes it transparent and the other thing I made sure that it is having or it is floating on top of the home page section by adding a negative margin, just like you see over here. The same I did for the footer, which I simply copied from what I had earlier created over here, copied it, came over here to our home page, removed the top border, and simply changed the colors to white for all the menu items and also for the site name and the site icon. Then later I selected the footer and also gave it a margin for the top to be 80 or to be negative 80 and the negative 80 makes it to move from the bottom over here and takes it to appear on top of the home page section. Please note that for the footer I did not add a Z index but for the header I added a Z index for this section simply to sit on top of the home page main section. Now how does this look like? On other devices so for example on the mobile it basically changes to a toggle icon for example when you click over here I simply made sure that on the mobile I simply selected this icon came to the style and for the toggle button I changed it to white see how it changes and I didn't give it a background color okay so there is no background color I simply just made it transparent now for our photo still on our home page section over here I simply further reduced on the size of these items in over here and also for the menu item for in the footer because when you check over on this website the menu item for the footer doesn't change on mobile version okay so what you have to do is very simple 
just come back select your menu item for the footer and come over here to content come to mobile drop down on the breakpoint choose none this means that when this home page is viewed on a mobile tab it will not break and show a hamburger icon like this one that's how that is achieved so the same even when we go back to our footer over here i made sure that when i go to the mobile version this doesn't change when i click over here you realize under content breakpoint it's not breaking but if i chose like tablet you will automatically see a hamburger icon show up but in this case i don't want that to appear then after that you simply just have to add your rules and save publish your footer and the same you do for your header add your rules save and publish and then you are good to go once you update your home page you realize that you'll have something that looks just like this over here including the home page when i click on a home page that's how it shows up when i click on all courses then it's going to take me to the different header that i created and i excluded it from appearing on the home page and the other footer that i created and excluded from appearing on the home page too even if i go to any other page like about page the same will appear with the same header but if i decide to go back to the home page it will now take us back to display the home page sections that created that have our header on the home page and our footer on the actual home page now this is the exact same replica of how this website was made including the header and also including the footer put aside the fact that this header slides in if you want to achieve that you can simply just come back here to your header section and select your header after selecting your header simply just come here to advanced come to motion effects and entrance animation you can simply just say fade in or you can choose any other option for example i slide in down something like that and you can choose uh, the speed slow or fast so when i update this i come back here to our about page you see how that looks like so you can simply just change it to any other way that you want like for all the other pages including the career page different header from the home page but the same header for all the other pages just like i have shown you how to do it over here in case you want these templates over here i'm going to leave a download link in the description box below for both the header the footer and the home page section thank you so much for watching in case you have any questions or comments please let me know down in the comment box below otherwise have a good time and goodbye